Thanks for that introduction. I'm pleased here to tell you a bit about the ORIC piezo initial drive stages. Let us see how the piezoelectric element makes travel from nanometer to micrometer, then millimeter, and even infinity. In this talk, I would like to start with the basic piezoelectric effect. Based on the, this effect, we get piezoelectric actuators. Then we will talk about the piezo initial drive mechanism. Using such mechanism, we design the piezo actuators into translation stages and get our auric series stages. In the end, I will show you some application ideas based on our auric stages. Okay. okay, so what is piezoelectric effect? The piezoelectric effect is a physical phenomenon between the mechanical field and electric field. This effect occurs on piezoelectric materials. These materials are always crystalline and contain positive and negative ions. When the piezoelectric crystal has a balanced status, the positive ion centers and negative ion centers are in the same position. When the crystal is exposed to an external stretching or compression, the crystal will deform. This causes the positive and negative ion center to shift, creating a polarization inside the crystal. The polarization will induce a charge on the surface. If we add positive and negative electrodes to the surface and connect them to a circuit, we will get electricity from the electrodes. Compressing the crystal will generate a positive charge. While stretching, the crystal will generate a negative charge. Through the piezoelectric effect, we convert the mechanical field into an electric field. Uh, piezoelectric effect is getting electricity from force. It's more like a generator. We want to make actuators to transfer electricity into force or stroke. This should be based on a converged piezoelectric effect. Uh, when an electric field is applied to a piezoelectric material, the piezo will deform to produce string, force, or stroke. Uh, piezo ceramic is the main material for the piezo actuators. This photo below shows the piezo ceramic chips made by our production lines. By fine tuning of uh, their electric charge, these chips can give nanometer movement. Here are some piezo ceramic chips with various shapes and dimensions. Uh, they are manufactured by our in-house production line. These chips are key elements for the piezo device, such as stages. So the in-house capability can control the quality of the whole piezo product line. Motion in micrometer scale may be enough for some applications, such as nanopositioner, atom force microscope, and so on. But we will always need higher displacement for macro scale applications. How can a micrometer stack stroke aided up to a millimeter? Now we know that a piezo chip only generates a small step of several micro uh, once a time. We can use the mechanism to accumulate these, these small steps from cycle to cycle, like the plots on the, on the right. Piezo initial drive is a method to accumulate small steps. With thousands of such small steps, we can get millimeter displacement. Then, what is piezo initial drive mechanism? About the initial, we may know that it's a property of a mass. It's a train to keep the mass motion state until an external force changes it. Let's look further into the driving details. The right side here shows a sketch map of a piezo initial drive stage. The stage is simply consisting of piezo actuator here, fixed to a solid wall. A road here has a friction portion and side here on a rail. The friction road has one end connected to the piezo actuator and one tip contacting with the slider. So the road can be pushed or pulled by the piezo actuator. Then the road can also push or pull the slider by the friction force. 
as shown in the enlarged displacement versus time curves in the middle here. From phase A to phase B, the piezo actuator is slowly charged. It will generate a slow expansion stroke. Then the road will be driven to slowly push the slider forward. Because the motion is slow, the friction between the road and slider is a static friction, which means they are stick together. Then from phase B to phase C, here the piezo actuator is discharged quickly to achieve fast contraction. The road will be pulled back suddenly, while the slider's initial from A to B will keep it moving forward. This train will cause relative motion between the road and the slider, resulting in a slipping process. Above all, unbalanced driving generates a slow stick and a fast steep. Initial of the slider make the slipping backward distance shorter than the sticking forward distance, which make a step forward of the whole stage. With plenty of cycles of stick and steep process, the stage is driven forward step by step. By the way, with conversely slip and stick process, the stage can travel backward. As the piezo initial drive mechanical structure is simple, our auric stage can create a compact design. Because the driving force is based on friction force, the friction drive makes the traveling steady, steady and self-lockable, ideal for set and hold applications. PD1 is a low-cost open-loop stage with a compact design, which can be driven by Sorab scheme controllers. Next, I will show you some videos I took in the lab. Here is a PD-1 stage driven by a K-Cube controller. The K-Cube controller has a joystick and can be easily used to control the motion left and right. The PD-1 stage is designed to be easily uh, stacked up uh, to set up an XY system. Here we use a software to control the K-Cube controller to drive, on, to drive the XY stages to move upside and down. We also provide a Z bracket uh, for a setup, uh, XZ setup. The bracket, Z bracket is well designed with the mice to balance the, the weight of the uh, upper stage to, to avoid bending force to the bottom stage. You can see the motion uh, is very smooth. Oryx space saving design will be feathered in the PD-1D monolithic XY stage. This stage is planned to have a short profile and improved organicity. This is a comparison between the uh, two PD-1 stage and the PD-1D monolithic stage. You can see the total height is reduced. A miniature stage, PD-2, with a 30.5 by 30.5 by 6.5 mm dimension. It's very tiny dimension, also under development. This tiny stage will have a 5 mm travel range and more than 10 mm per second maximum speed. A closed loop version is also on the road map. To achieve high resolution, the closed loop version PDX1 is designed with optical encoder and a powerful controller, PDXC. Under the closed loop control, the PDX1 had 10 nanometer resolution, 100 nanometer positioning occurrence, and higher than 20, per, 20 millimeter per second traveling speed, with less than 2% low speed variation. Our open loop uh, stage, PD1, uh, the speed variation is controlled within the plus minus 10%. Both are more stable than the other company's example. Stable speed variation will give a smooth motion control and fine positioning adjustment. I would also like to show you the demonstration of the PDX1 and PDXC. It provides a faster and more stable motion than the PD1. The travel range is from minus 10 mm to 10 mm. It's also designed to easily set up a XYZ stages, same as the PD-1. With the above stages, we can easily get tens of millimeter travel. So 
How can the millimeter drive of range be increased again for piezo initial drive stage? The travel range is only limited by the rail, so the infinity travel is achievable when switching a linear rail into a round roller. Okay, uh, to drive such a roller, the stage rotates and becomes a rotation stage. The PDR1 is a low cost open loop rotation stage. And it can be easily uh, configured with the XY stages into a XY and rotation setup. Uh, a high speed closed loop version, the PDXR1, is also under development. A miniature rotation stage version is also on the roadmap. Here is also a demonstration to show the rotating motion of open loop PDR1 and the closed loop PDXR1. We can see that the PDXR1 in the left is faster than the PDR1 in the right. Besides the mounting plate and Z bracket we showed previously, we also provide the carry plate adapters for various application and setup. There are two kinds of carry plate adapters to provide central symmetric M4, M3, and M2 screw holes, as well as M4 type holes. The mounting plate provides a fine mounting surface with flatness error less than 5 micron. We recommend to use it to avoid wiping of the stage and obtain expected performance. Our exterior stages are all based on standing steel, so they can be easily modified to be vacuum compatible. The open loop version for 10 power minus 6 tall vacuum level is under development. We design and manufacture the Oryx stages in-house, so we can provide the option for customization such as high load capacity, low angular error, and OEM service. Oryx stages have full compatibility with Thorlabs ecosystem, such as the post, breadboard, cage system, Polaris, and so on. Here, from the left, the first photo shows the XY setup with Polaris mirror directly mounted to the top surface of PD-1. In the second photo, a XY setup can also be directly mounted to the PDR-1. However, it should be noted that the rotation of the PDR-1 is limited by the cable of the XY stages. The third photo here shows the PDR-1 has four slots to accomplish with the 16mm cage system. With a central aperture, the PDR-1 can provide a rotation motion inside this, this cage system. In the fourth photo, a post and PDR-1 can simply set up a vector rotation application. In the end, I would like to show an application idea of fiber coupling by the PDX-1. As we can see here in this setup, we use the PDX-1 to carry a compact laser module and set a fiber of coupler in front of it. We have a power meter here to monitor the power coupled inside the fiber coupler. You can also see here we use the PTX1 to achieve small motions step by step to get a maximum power. When we get this maximum power, wherever the stage moves to, they can be relocate, relocated to the previous position with the help of the closed loop control. We can see here every time the stage moves back, the power coupled into the fiber is the same. You can use this stage in the application which need long time stability. Thank you for your attention. I would like to answer any questions you may have.